everybody. You guys know me. I'm Harry James. One game this week, but oh boy. Saturday, New Year's Eve, you know who we do. You know who we playing. Hook them horns down, baby. <laughs> right off the gate, they'll play Texas. The game will be in Norman, Texas. Last year, coming off of a 12 and 2 and 12 overall, 10 and 8 Big 12 slate. I will tell you what to expect from Texas and Oklahoma in the men's version of the Red River Shootout, the Red River Rivalry in Norman. In hoops, next. Don't go away. <laughs> Everybody. You guys know me, I'm Harry James. One game to preview and it's the biggie. Bet you can't guess who it is, right? Texas. Oh yeah! Down go the Bevo Horns. Texas and the Bevo Horns coming off last year. 22 and 12 overall, 10 and 8 in conference play. They lost to Purdue by 10, 81 to 71. In the second round of the NCAA tournament last season. Now, as far as right now, when we're about five minutes away from the final Texas exhibit uh, preseason game or pre-conference game, the Texas coach is still Rodney Terry, a 1990 grad from St. Edwards University, and is in the as, and is the interim coach for Coach Beard. Of course, because Tony is an interim. It's only his first year at O-Texas. But, oh boy, do they have some talent. Like, number five, Mark, Marcus Carr. And four, Tyrese Hunter. Just to name a few. Now, Marcus Carr, number five, Marcus Carr. He's the one to watch out for. Averaging 15.7 points per ball game. 2.5 boards. 4.3 points per ball, uh, assists per ball game in 11 ball games. And Tyrese Hunter, number four for the Longhorns, averaging 12.1 points per ball game, 3.9 boards, 2.7 assists per ball game, playing in 11 ball games this year for Texas. Now, before we go to Oklahoma, if you don't know what the beard issue is, there was an issue. I believe it was domestic abuse um, a couple of weeks ago. Of course, they're still trying to finalize some of that, so I don't expect him to be the head coach at Texas for quite some time, if ever again. Uh, so that's why Rodney Terry is there this season. Off of that and into this, the good side of the rivalry, the fun part of the rivalry, not the uh, domestic abuse part, the fun part, the team part, and now, that's when we talk about, oh, you, you know what it do, Crimson and Cream Nation. Oklahoma, 19-16 last year, 7-11 in conference play, lost to St. Bonaventure, uh, 70 to 68 in the second round of the NIT last year. Their head coach Porter Moser is a 1990 grad from Creighton and is in it and is in his second year at Oklahoma. Whew. 
Scoring leaders for ODU this year, transfer Grant Sherfield and 35 Tanner and, and a veteran 35 Tanner Groves are the leading scorers. We'll start with 25 Grant Sherfield, who averages 18 even, 18.0 points per ball game, 2.8 assists per ball game, 3.8 uh, 2.8 rebounds, and 3.8 assists per ball game, playing in 12 games. So they played now 12 games. As has Tanner Groves played 12 games, averaging 11.1 points per ball game for number 35 Tanner Groves, 6.9 rebounds, 2.2 assists per ball game. Of course, Texas, they've only played in 11 games. Here in a couple of minutes, they'll play in their 12th game and 12th and final um, pre-conference game. They'll play in that. Uh, I don't know who, but they'll play in it for sure. Uh, 7 o'clock on uh, Tuesday, the 27th of December, if you're watching. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Speaking of watching, thanks for watching. Click the like, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen if you're watching on YouTube. If you're not and you're watching it regularly on Facebook, it's all right. Just leave a comment. Like the comments. Do that for me. Also, they're on my Twitter, so if you want to retweet it, just go at just go to at SoonerFan1982, SoonerFan1982, and do it from there on the Twitter. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Boomer Sooner, everybody. And you know what it is, guys. Let's go beat Texas. Horns down, baby. All day.